Okay, I'm going to make a couple of filters today. I have this image I took with my cell phone, and the first thing you probably should do is convert this to a smart object. Because that way, if you create a filter and you want to go back and tweak it later, um, it creates a non-destructive environment for the image, and you can re-edit the settings. If you don't create a smart, smart object, then um, the filter that you create and apply is committed and makes actual changes to uh, the image pixels. And then we'll go to Filter, Other, Custom. Now the custom filter applies transforms to every pixel in the image. And the discussion of this is a little bit complicated and I'll probably deal with it more in another video. But for simplicity right now, let's start with um, 14 in this bottom left corner, one in the center, Minus 11. Keep the scale at 1 and put the offset at minus 236. And uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay, I call this effect crayon. And um, you can click the save button. You go into um, your Adobe Photoshop folder, presets, custom filters, give it the name. I usually number them because I, I tweak them all the time and um, I'll renumber variations and then just go ahead and save. Since I already have this, cancel this. Another filter variation I wanted to offer is a color pencil. And I will change this to 1, 29 in the center, 3 in the top corner, minus 26 here. I'm going to set the scale. You can hold, once you have a number in one of these um, little boxes you can hold down the command key and click and drag so I'm going to sit there and set this to 3 and set the offset to minus 72 which I like this is a very nice illustration looking filter And I saved that one as color pencil. And that's it. You know, just keep uh, experimenting with the custom filter and you know, develop your own set of tools. It's a very nice tool to have available, even though it's probably very largely misunderstood. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back with more of these later.